guys, it's Seth. I'm doing another mock draft on Pro Football Network's Mock Draft Simulator. Link is always in the description. And once again, it's going to be seventh round with trades. Um, I do this just because the past ones that I did, three rounds, no trades, just to strictly see the prospects, the needs, where they fall. But now I can loosen up, have a little fun. We got the Dolphins right there. We got two first round picks. And I think I'm going to... I'm gonna get going, and with the first pick, um, let's see, two quarterbacks, so, huh. What I like is, uh, with this, we got a lot of options, but, um, <clears throat> word is that this Panay Suel guy is a sort of a, a generational talent up there with Jonathan Ogden, Walter Jones. Joe Thomas, those type of guys. So, we'll just grab him. And what I also want to do, because the Lions, with uh, all the quarterbacks taken, and yeah, I know the Lions just got cut off, uh, but let's see if we could get uh, Devonta Smith. <laughs> this will be fun. They don't need a receiver. They don't need a receiver. The Cowboys, I'm going to propose this trade now. The Cowboys might be more open to our trading. So, propose declined. I really want Devonta Smith. Let's see if we could uh, snag a late pick. Declined drafts. All right, I am <clears throat> going to go all out. So 171 instead. Accept it. All right. Even though Jalen, oh, what hell? It. He's not the Heisman winner. Devonta Smith is one of those guys who's just unbelievable. But just, I'm, I don't want to say Jerry Rice-like, because, you know, that's the greatest football player of all time. But he's up there, right away you plug him in. I could see him getting at least 70 catches, 1,100 yards, and 7 or 8 touchdowns. Really helped Tua in that situation. <laughs> now what we need to focus a little bit on our de defense. We got linebackers, we got uh, running backs we could look at, <clears throat> uh, inside linebacker, outside, just anybody with the LB next to him, like Baron Browning. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> that, there we go. But the Dolphins, just some uh, defense depth right now is what we're looking at but if there's a good uh, running back on the board we'll definitely uh, keep our eyes up there I'm a big fan of what Brian, Brian Flores is doing down in Miami he is absolutely showing the ultimate tank rebuild really quickly though hmm, Jordan Smith <clears throat> they were so close to the play playoffs it was one of those things the AFC was so strong that I think the Dolphins could have been a fourth or fifth seed in the NFC they could have been they, they easily could have won the NFC East <laughs> yeah, there's no question about that they could have um, been a contender in the NFC South the North was always going to be the Packers and the West uh, was really competitive yeah the Rams the Seahawks but, uh, <clears throat> no, the Dolphins are really doing well with this rebuild. Okay. Well, we got a few options here. All of them are offensive. 
and we already grabbed an edge rusher when we grabbed uh, Jordan Smith right there. <coughs> like I said, always use extra corners. If there's a corner there, grab it. At this point, we could start looking at uh, maybe some special teams type players. I'm not sure how many uh, picks we have. I don't think we have that many in the uh, later rounds. Yeah, just two. 171 to 185. I think this is the one we grabbed from, <coughs> from the Cowboys. So, with these linebackers, safety, you know, grab some guys that could provide depth. <coughs> I mean, Super Bowls aren't one with the first pick, they're one with the <coughs> fifth rounders, sixth rounders, seventh rounders. Sorry, I uh, swallowed a swallowed something, swallowed some air. But the Dolphins, I think they are a team that are starting to uh, starting to rise. Another full off season with Tua. He's had his struggles, but um, okay, I am going to take Jacoby Stevens. Here's a guy who could provide a lot of depth, but Tua. You know, last year was pretty much a trial by fire, but this year it's his team. I am a big Tua fan. I don't think that uh, people are already calling him a lost cause. Let's take a flyer on Elijah Mitchell, which is completely ridiculous. <clears throat> Even coming off a bad injury two years ago, I think he's still ascending. I think Tua is absolutely going to be a solid quarterback in the NFL. He has the potential to be a great one, but he just needs to find the deep ball a little bit. And with Devonta Smith on board, I think it'll help us a lot with Tua. And uh, the Dolphins, I I will say that it's going to be fun watching the Dolphins and the Bills over the next few years. That is going to be the next uh, Marino Kelly type of <laughs> AFC East. <clears throat> so check this out. Sewell, Devonta Smith, Browning, Jordan Smith, Adebo, Jacoby Stevens, Elijah Mitchell. This is a great draft for the Dolphins. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Uh, tell me about what trades you want to see for other teams. Tell me what, what trades with the Dolphins. And also like, subscribe, and share. You have a great day.